Now let's create a new class here, which we will call name. Okay, name class. No public static void main, just the class name, okay? Private string, half name, private string, oops, L name. Jacob got it. Okay. Chase and Christian, whenever you guys are done, let me know. Okay, cool. Now, what I want to do is I want to create another class called employee. Okay. With a public static void main. Employee class will have two properties private integer ID and private name. Full name. So what am I doing here? I'm creating an instance of name class, which I just created as a property of employee class. So when you create a property as an instance of another class, it is called composition. So this class is getting help from the name class. So name class has defined the entire architecture for name. So you don't have to create local properties like full first name and last name. Name already has done that for you. All you need to do is create an instance of name type and you will have access to all of that. That's called composition. Okay. So we have an employee. I'm gonna create another employee overloaded one okay the first employee and the second one the overloaded one will take integer id name n oh sorry name uh we're gonna call this one full name this dot ID equals to ID and this dot full name equals to full name. So notice how I am instantiating an object of name type into the full name object. So ID being a regular property has a regular usage, but the composition property will be slightly different. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have made all of these public. That's why I can't access them from there. Can you please make this change to your name class? 
change all these methods to public, all the getters and setters. And then we will go back to our um, employee class. And then we will um, complete that class as soon as we are done with this one. Okay, so now let me switch back to employee class. And now I can say full name dot uh, set F name to F and full name dot set L name to L. So that's my setter and public void get name. return full name dot get f name and full name dot get l name oh sorry string So I'm displaying the ID of the employee. And now it's time to display the employee's full name. So the ID is 101 and the full name is Sarah Ferris because I'm calling the um, default constructor. If I want to change the ID and I want to change the name, again, I will, uh, I can take help from modularization three. Remember we have modularization three dot value, enter first name. So this is the beauty of having composition where you can, you know, take benefit from existing classes. So the current name is Sarah Ferris and I'm changing the name to John Doe. 